Hey everybody, and welcome back to Omni Legacy, or Rogue Legacy, Omni Griffin Die More Edition. So today, we are once again a dragon, which is pretty nice, because this is the class that I am basically trying to beat our current boss with. And so we're just going to get going. Uh, my headset is officially dead, which means that the audio problems that you may be... Uh, noticing in some of the videos, possibly some reverb, stuff like that. Uh, it's here to stay for a little bit until I get that problem resolved. Uh, unfortunately, there's not all that much I can do about it right now. Uh, I'm trying to open a ticket with Logitech. I do like the headphones, it's just they won't charge. So I can put them on, and I can turn them on while plugged in for about a grand total of two or three seconds, and then they turn off. Which you'd think that eventually they'd run out of charge, just in general, and they wouldn't turn on at all, but thus far they've done a really good job of turning on even when it seems like they shouldn't. So it's getting like this tiny minimal amount of charge, enough to get it to start, and that's it. So not much I can do about that, but... Well, as I said, not much I can do about it. But hopefully that will get resolved sooner than later. But really the hopefully is that you guys don't really know. That would be optimal, because that would mean that I could actually probably do this without headphones for a while. So if uh, if you feel so inclined to tell me how the audio sounds in comparison to the other videos, obviously I listen to it myself, but I'm a lot more nitpicky, especially when I know something isn't right. So take that for what it is. I always appreciate opinions of my viewers anyway. Once again, I'm just trying to get my way to the Maya, which we have done. And then I'm going to use the rest of the castle as healing grounds, effectively, when I take a bunch of damage. If I take an amount of damage that I think is quite possibly lethal, I will retreat. Retreat to the rest of the castle and use my vampirism to get some kills. As you can see, we're stacking a bunch of vampirism runes right now. And that is because, as I've mentioned in, in the past, but I'll mention again, uh, as a dragon, you'll notice my mana is recharging ridiculously fast, uh, which is in contrast to any other class in which mana does not recharge. So normally we would take some form of siphon, which is uh, every single time you get a kill, you get some mana back. But since your mana is recharging, you really don't even have to worry about that. So I we just switched all to Vampires and Runes, which are when you kill something you get health back. So you notice I'm not picking up that drumstick, and that's in the rare occasion that while I'm clearing this room I manage to take damage, I have a drumstick to heal me right back up. Because of course when I leave, that drumstick will be gone. And luckily those guys are enough health that I can still kill them. I've already racked up a good chunk of gold. Oh my. I wasn't sure whether or not he was going to be able to charge down, so that's what I was really watching. Unfortunately, it uh, cost me some damage, but I've pretty much completely recouped it at this point. In fact, I almost didn't even need that. Stuck in the floor a little bit there. We have gotten significantly stronger since the last time I was a dragon in the Maya. Maybe not significantly stronger, but stronger enough that I'm noticing. We can take a few more hits than we used to be able to. Although we are doing pretty much the same damage. The damage is still good, it's just we had so little health. I know you're a mimic, you're wobbling. Ah, so this is convenient for us. Curse rune. So we actually have uh let's see if I can get this on the pause screen, yeah. We actually have a EHS, which means the platforms stay open. That was something new added recently. But uh that's why that platform's open. One of the traits that we picked. A very useful trait, uh, if you're not a dragon. If you are a dragon, I suppose it has its merits. Okay, that was very unfortunate. 
it means that we're going to have to move. Okay, taking a lot of damage. Taking way too much damage. Alright. We almost sustained lethal damage. Oh, well, we found the boss room. Which is actually very fortunate because it means I get a teleport back to the rest of the castle as well as a drumstick. Also means that we could just jump right into the boss really quickly. And then either make this run a make or break really quickly. Well, that's tempting. Uh, I try to not do that. And that's mostly just because it makes the episode a little less boring, but that's just because it's shortening it, because I'm technically doing worse. I mean, obviously, if I beat the boss, I'm doing good, and that's awesome. If you don't beat the boss, then the episode's really short, which, you know, maybe not be a bad thing, but at the same time, uh, we don't actually make any progression. And that's one of the things that's pretty important about this game, in my opinion. I'm actually going to stay on the ground here, so I don't have to try and minimize or maximize the location of stuff. Being in the air makes that fight significantly harder, I think. But yeah, as I was trying to say, like, oh, I do have a dash. Anyway, I keep getting put off topic by the various challenges that are appearing in the room. But, um, I think that it's important to be constantly progressing in this game because even though I've gotten a class that I think I can use to beat the boss, I don't know that for sure, and even with this class, I might not be currently strong enough to do it. I might be playing as a class that gives me a distinct advantage against the boss. Being in the air is very useful for this main boss, however. It's a very nice... Oh, nice. Just We get strength increased by one. It's probably because we've run the... Uh, run the normal things that would show up in that chest out. But yeah, if, if you don't have the strength to currently beat the boss that you're trying to, and all you do is try and get that class and then immediately rush that boss, sure, you find out right away whether or not you're going to win, but the problem truly lies in the fact that you've not improved yourself at all. And if you keep doing the same thing, it's just the same futile fight. And yeah, sure, if you mess up and you make a silly mistake and it gets you killed, and normally you'd actually be able to do it, it's just this one time you made a mistake, then sure, I can see that. But if that's not the case, then if it's not possible for you to beat it, or if you're not strong enough to, to, to win in that specific situation, then you're not improving yourself and you're not going to be able to reach a point where you can because you're going to be trying to keep picking that point where you're not. I hope that makes sense. But that's uh, that's my philosophy on this game when it comes to choosing whether or not you are going to rush the boss. Once again, being in the air ended up being very useful there. Isn't always the case, but a lot of times it is. Unfortunately, I couldn't avoid picking that up. I was just moving too fast. That one I will do my very best to not pick up. In case I take some damage in this room. Seems possible, though a little unlikely now at this point, since I've got the ability to fly up, do some damage, and then pop back down. Which is super useful. Did not take any damage. So luckily the way that we managed to kill those, both the little spike balls attached to the chain ended up getting uh, caught in the wall. Not something I was planning on doing, but just kind of happened to happen right. Let me use that free from vulnerability time to get around here. That was a very weak one. I thought we were taking mostly two hits to kill things. 
Yeah, but I'm not complaining. One of the things that I'm going to have to master is a very quick, uh, when you're being chased, turn around and fire strategy. Because that's what's going to be happening during the boss. Luckily these skeletons are in a place that they literally can do nothing. Because all they do is shoot the ceiling. Oh gosh, that was insane. So I made a pretty bad mistake there. Was not paranoid enough. Which is very important in the Maya because those darn mimics, uh, they don't do chump change for damage. So I believe it was this room that was the bad room. Well, that went significantly better. Being able to fly in this room makes it so much nicer. Oh my goodness. I know there was a warg down here. I suppose it's a luckily it didn't drop anything, because I wouldn't be able to get it anyway if it did. It was over the spikes. That was close. A little bit of silly damage there, but luckily... Oh boy. Well, might as well try it, right? advantage. So we've got six here, nine. Ah, we were so close. He really said snarf. That only makes me think of, well, snarf. If you don't know that reference, I'm not going to explain it to you now. Because that's a whole, like, Saturday morning cartoons we'd have to go through. There we go, that's what I like to see, being able to do that. And here's a situation where I actually might go and get those on the spikes, because I have a drumstick in the room that would otherwise go to waste. Assuming, of course, I don't get hit right here. There we go. So I'm actually going to make a shot at these. So we took a little bit more damage than I was hoping there. Spikes did quite a bit, but we don't have all that much left to explore in the Maya, which is pretty nice. It means that we can run through the rest of the castle and the jungle and be pretty confident about it. I should say the forest. Thought, yeah, it's over here. I knew there was one doorway that I hadn't gone through. Oh, that is really bad. So the downside is that red eye. So that's the real danger in the room because I can't possibly kill it. Drumsticks. Spikes not to get me. That is in fact a real chest. With a bunch of gold in it. We are doing pretty good on gold. 11,000 will be enough to buy us some pretty expensive stuff. And I guess we do have some more rooms. But those might just be connecting rooms. It's hard to say at this point. Wait. We didn't kill an enemy in this room? 
kill a few enemies in this room. I guess we just ran through this room and I didn't uh, actually check. Keep getting stuck in the floor. I guess I just missed a few enemies since it's such a big room and I can fly. It's okay. I'm gonna lure this ice in. Be wary of you jumping. Oof. That was some clutch reaction time stuff going on right there. Oh man, do I do this? Yep. Ooh, nice. Sharon's Oval. So this basically just uh, lets us die without having to spend money. We basically get one freebie. the one way of putting it, I suppose. If we die, we get to keep all our money. Sharon, Charon. I. There was a time where I actually went through whether or not how you pronounce it this way or that way, and I found out what it was, and I subsequently forgot. Okay, as my memory is that bad. I am not small, so I cannot get that. That's really unfortunate. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to very quickly, or decently quickly, clear out as much of this map as we can. We know where the boss is that we want, and we've got a few different things. Uh, a few different things to do. One is try and get as many. Uh, Get as many runes as we can, because that's pretty much always a goal. It's a pretty standard goal, because once you get all those, you start getting permanent improvements. We've already been this way. We also want to get a bunch of blueprints for different armors. Because once we buy all those and we have a really good weight, we can customize ourselves pretty strongly. Which is always nice. Uh, it gives you a flexibility as you transition between classes that you don't norm normally get, especially early on in the game. Similar to what we're doing with our runes uh, for this run, because I'm um, stupid. I shouldn't open that. Or broken. Anyway, as I was saying, like customization that we're doing with our vamp vampiric runes, instead of you know, having our scythe runes. That sort of flexibility means that we can transition from class to class pretty effectively. Well, that was convenient. That was like perfect for a dragon. Also not too bad for my normal setup with a dash and a jump. Which is partially why I take the dash and the jump normally, because of all that mobility. Alright, well we found our way into land of darkness. Oh gosh. I realized at the very last second that those things off to the right were in fact uh, the fire turrets. Which would have been very, uh, very bad if I'd been sitting in that room for a long time. So I didn't take the uh, drumstick that I know for a fact was in that statue. Because we're healing quite a bit. Killing enemies, which, if we don't have to use one of those drumsticks, it could come in very handy later. So as long as I'm not near lethal, I, well, except for when I'm stupid and reflexively fire, I like to preserve that for, for when I'm actually in dire need and I barely get back to a teleporter and I want to be able to survive. A situation that I have definitely been in more than once while playing this game for you guys. I'm surprised we didn't get hit there. I'm totally okay with the fact that we didn't get hit there. I'm just kind of going to be exploring willy-nilly. 
I'm gonna start by killing everything and grabbing as much gold as I can. We are now behind, if you remember. Journal entry number 19. I have been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. My courage has finally been sapped, for I have spied the monsters below, and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steal myself. I must focus. There is so little light down there, I fear that I may lose myself. Based on his previous stories, I'm pretty sure he's already lost himself and, like... A psychological term or a psychological standpoint. Like, he's gone a little crazy. I think that's definitely quite true. <laughs> it'd be really nice if we got like a mana upgrade. I don't think we can, but it'd be really nice to have that fifth. Fifth shot as a possibility. I don't think we're gonna find one though because I don't believe that we have. We have not depleted the forest of its. Oh, well, anything, I don't think. I don't think we've depleted either its runes or its. Come on, that's just bad timing. Its runes or its blueprints, which are. When one of those is done, that's when you can find stuff like thermal upgrades. Interesting with these rooms. They're like mini boss rooms, but they're not. Not quite sure to make of them, but the only way to go in the forest is now this way, so I'm presuming this will have a lot of options on it. And stuff and killing things. Oof. Touche knight. You got me. However, not before I got you. to 15,000. Uh, in all honesty, we don't really need Sharon's Opal. Uh, if anything, what it'll let us do is it'll let us buy something really expensive and then save the rest of our gold for something else really expensive, which is probably what we'll do. Basically, pick whatever we can find on the tableau that's most expensive, because that's uh, basically the biggest uh, hindrance that we currently have in terms of buying things is whatever's the most expensive. Obviously, the other stats are slowly increasing in price. Uh, and perhaps not obviously. I don't mention it on all the episodes. That is, in fact, something that is happening. Well, no jumping. That was very nice. Balance rune, that's also very nice. Don't ever use one of those. I mean, unless you've got no other, you know, nothing else to do. Like, I actually might go back and use that if I defeat the boss. Because at that point, I will have nothing else to do. Like, yeah, I'll be going down and exploring the darkness. But, uh, that's usually where those send you, is somewhere in the middle of that level. And yeah, I won't be able to come up and go to the jungle forest or the castle to get health back. Because I'm doing this all now. So it won't really matter if I know where I am and can escape or not. I don't know. That's something that hopefully becomes an issue later, but I'm not going to dwell on right now. Since I haven't beaten the boss yet. Gold, 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 gold. 
We'll probably end up getting some Death Defy. That would be super useful. Anywhere else to explore in the forest? I think the answer is no. I think we are ready to go fight our boss. We are max health and max mana. So I think we just do it. Pressure is on. Ponce de Leon. Battle takes, as long as we're not taking a ton of damage. Oh, those are disappearing. I almost tried to fire down right there. This is why I like the dragon for this fight. We might even not take damage during this fight, although I've tried to change that as a possibility. It's one of those things that I think shows in the strength of the class here. Class choice. Blam! Perfect! Look at all that money. That was amazing. That is exactly what you want to happen in this fight. And we get... Magic power increased by 5, magic damage increased by 1, and HP increased by 5. So we actually, we got to the 55 mana. The 55 mana, the, the thing that I joked about, we managed to get to. That is awesome. So, as I said, uh, let's go ahead and be a little crazy. I'm just going to jump on that teleporter and see what happens. Uh, because honestly, I did it like once or twice, and was so grievously uh, killed by it. Killed with extreme prejudice, basically. That's right, it's the question mark, I'm silly. That I decided never to do it again. Yep, middle of the darkness. We're still doing pretty good, actually. So it actually sent us right to a blueprint. So, perhaps it is actually a relatively good thing, if you're ready for it. At this point, I have no choice, though, so... 50 damage. So, yep, creatures down below, that's what uh, he was talking about. These guys are not pushovers, and we're going to be hurting quite a bit while attempting to defeat them. Oh, you're trapped there, aren't you now? Oh, no you're not! Well played, you asshole of a horse. Just gonna sit here till you come back. Come back. I think somehow the, uh... That right there managed to, uh... Oh, the spiky orbs. Basically got it to, uh... Got it to do that. So we actually have no choice but to go through that room that almost killed us to begin with, and now likely will kill us. Fortunately, now those are bouncing around. Oh! Well, Lady Winry the Third, you were done in by a projectile, but you have successfully killed two. Three, four, five. Five rows, including Ponce de Leon. So, well played. That is all I have to say. You have done your duty, and I am proud. So we choose our heir. And this is where we decide what we want to be doing next. Because I know what boss is at the end of the fourth level. The darkness, the... What not. However, 
that being said, I don't think we're ready. I don't think we will reach there. So I don't think going for that roll will actually help us. Um, I actually really want to take Lady Faye the Third uh, because of the electorophobia. Chickens freak you out. And there's a really interesting reason for that, too. So, we are pretty darn rich. So we can increase our invulnerability time. That is one very expensive thing. We can also work on our death defy, which is the most expensive thing. Or we can just pump up our stats like crazy. We could also do our down strike up, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'd love to see some death defies come out. Is it worth going? Yep. Uh, and I'm actually going to stop. And that is because, if you remember, we have that obol. Oh man, look at that damage. We cannot crit, but because we haven't been specking into crit, I'm not too concerned about that. So we'll check what we have that's new. This is our Imperial Helm. That will increase our health and mana by quite a good bit for actually only a little bit of weight. However, we do lose some armor. So, it's a pretty standard trade-off, but we can't actually put it on anyway because it's going to cost more than 400 to get that 5 extra weight. We could switch something down a little bit in order to make it work, but said I'm not all that worried about it. We got another curse rune, which basically we can just make enemies harder. Basically, if we really want to go for a money run, that's what you do. Another balance rune. Balance rune's always nice, and that's about that. That leaves us with not all that many runes left, though enough for a few runs, and we still have quite a few in terms of our blueprints. But yeah, so our, na our, our new quest is basically going to be to clear the entire castle, make a ton of money, and then proceed down into the darkness. And that's pretty much all we can do at this point. Otherwise, this was a very successful run. I am very, very proud of how well I managed to do in that boss fight. I managed to not take a single scratch. So, I think it is very clear why I was trying to get a dragon all those times. So, for those of you who may have been uh, slightly annoyed by the fact that I was going, Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Um, I apologize for that, but I believe that you can see my justification for it. Whether or not you think that's the right way of going, uh, when it comes to my playstyle and the way that I uh, I like to fight the bosses, it, it just syncs very well with, with me, personally. But anyway, enough of me sitting here and just talking about silly things. Well, although they're not that silly, hopefully it gives you some insight into something. But either way... Next time we will be playing as this huge hawkage who can do... Sorry, Hokage. I, I, I was corrected by one of my friends uh, after he heard me talking about it, that it's a Hokage. So, pretend that I've been saying it properly all this time. But we will be playing as this gigantic woman. Gigantic in a good way. She's absolutely wrecking us. This dummy, this poor level 2 dummy, as we are level 109. And I'm looking forward to our delve into the darkness. Uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, level. Obviously, a lot of the same enemies with a little bit more power, but there's also, you know, it's a, it's a completely different uh, feel of the level. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed yourself, hopefully you learned something. I know I had a lot of fun, and... I feel like I gave you guys some insight. Feel free to comment down below if there's something that you'd like to let me know about the episode or if there's something that you would like to know or that you'd like me to cover in my next episode of Omni Legacy. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time.